Okay guys, it's Josh Moore, PT here. Welcome back to Lean Over Winter, episode five. Um, this one is coming from the new gym that I've signed up to in Bermondsey, it's a pure gym. Um, I'm kind of using their spin studio without them knowing, so um, fingers crossed I'm gonna get caught, and if someone does walk in and catch me out, then busted. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed the last episode. Hope you also enjoyed a day in the life of PT. Um, point of that was really just to give you an idea of exactly what I get up to on a daily basis. Um, snippets from my sessions, um, as you saw there's a lot of variety in terms of the kickboxing and boxing, as well as the gym session PT, um, some of the outdoor and indoor stuff as well. Uh, there was a little bit about what I eat and things as well, and kind of what I do in my free time. Uh, but just to give you an insight of, of what I kind of get up to on a daily basis. Um, so I'm going to be doing another episode like that um, in the next couple of weeks, just to sort of add in uh, to a bit of variety to what's coming. Um, but this uh, this lean over winter, this is going to be a specific um, sort of hit circuit where you do one part of it is just going to be lower body and one part of it is just going to be upper body. So what we've done in the past is we've sort of done a mixture of three exercises where we've done one leg, one core, one upper body. Whereas I'm going to progress it a little bit this week. So the first circuit of three exercises that we're going to do is all going to be legs and then the second circuit is all going to be upper body. Right? So um, a little bit of uh, variation from there. It's a very, very good way to really sort of grow um, the legs or the upper body depending on really what you want to work on. So say you might be quite I don't know, defined up top um, and you're really just looking to you know, give your legs a little bit more strength, a bit more definition, um, then this first part is going to be the legs bit which you really want to pay attention to and likewise the opposite if you've got pretty strong legs but you just want to build a bit more um, sort of strength and power up top then that's going to be the second part of the circuit. So let's not waste any time, let's get straight into our warm up. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit just so we can get straight into the circuit. So let's start with some walkouts first. Um, and I'm going to do three exercises. I'm 
going to reduce the work time to 30 seconds per exercise, still keep the rest time in between about 20 seconds, um, purely because it's going to be very, very intense on the legs. But as I said, if you really want to grow, grow those legs, you know, develop the bar, calves, whatever it is, each three of these exercises is going to hit everywhere next to you, and the second part is going to be, as I said, the upper body. So, get a quick drink now, get a towel if you need it, and see you back here for the first of the circuit. So, let's get into the first circuit. So, as I said, three leg exercises, 30 seconds each one, 20 seconds rest in between, right? So, first one's going to be a little bit plyometric. So, what we're going to do, they're going to be like explosive ice skaters. So, you start on one side like this, jump over to the other side, and if you want to, you can bring your arms around like this. Just kind of helps with getting the momentum to get from side to side. If you feel confident, then you can come straight down. And with this back leg, you can probably see here, I'm not touching the floor with it, so I can really get that kind of motion going. But if you need to, by all means, put that foot on the floor, just to give yourself a little bit of stability. As I said, it's quite a tough one. So, exercise number one. Straight after that, we're going to go from a narrow squat into a sumo squat. Again, a bit of plyometric power, so we're starting like this. Out, in, out, in, and so on. All right, so that's number two. Exercise number three, we're gonna go from side to side, but in more of a side lunge motion, so it looks like this, all right? So we start over one side, this leg stays straight, come back to center, and we swap around. So quickly, going from side to side, Again, this is a terrific one for developing glutes, but also it's getting that sort of side where we're moving on. So as you can see, we're moving in a lateral direction as opposed to just sort of standing still um, and just doing the size on the spot. Again, very good for activating those stabilized muscles that we probably don't use that much anymore. So 30 seconds each one, 20 seconds rest in between. Explosive wise gates to begin with. Do this two times around, and then we'll have a rest for a few minutes in between, and we'll go into our body one. So, ready to go in three, two, one, let's go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. 
two, one. Okay, rest. So, first round over. Obviously, I'm taking the rounds down to being two instead of three as well, um, purely because of the intensity that it has on this. Um, so, you probably feel it already, apart from feeling quite out of breath. So, you can obviously hear me, heart rate's right up, burning up that, but at the same time, really working those legs. Up the power. So, yeah, the heart rate's going crazy. You should definitely feel like a heavy night in the legs, that's totally normal. Um, but yeah, so 30 seconds more rest. Take those deep breaths in. And then we'll go to the second round of this. And then we'll have a few minutes rest before we go into specific up body stuff. So, try and keep this short and sweet today. Um, Get straight into it next time. So, 10 seconds with those plyometric ice skates. So, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. You know, you can go further than always thinking about that 30 seconds 
window that you're doing, you know, or thinking about those reps, you've always got to push past those mental barriers because the body's quite lazy. The body will adapt as quickly as possible to be able to do something with minimal effort. It's for survival. So as soon as it gets used to working for 30 seconds, 40 seconds, and it knows, all right, maybe we've got to say, you know, 10 seconds of effort left, I can smash this out. But then when you do that, and then you chuck something in that it kind of doesn't expect, you know, that's when you can really get those real results by pushing it past the fatigue zone. So, anyway, a cheeky little burn out in there, so we'll have a few minutes rest now. Get a drink if you need to. You know, just open the window, get some air in. It's quite fun here. No windows, really. So, um, yeah, then the next thing we'll do is the same principle, but all for upper body stuff, all right? So, see you in a few minutes. Okay, guys, so welcome back to round two, or part two of the uh, hit circle we've been today. So, this one says all going to be upper body focused, all right? So, there's going to be three exercises, all going to be using everything from waist upwards, all right? So, exercise number one, what we're going to do, we're going to start in the push up position, and we're going to basically move the push up from side to side. So, basically, what this looks like is from here, we bring that arm and the leg out at the same time, press down come back to centre. So we start in kind of like a high plank, but with the arms together like this, rather than out and then we'll push up. The legs together, and we bring them both together, outwards and back inwards. So from the side, so you can see better. So what's happening is my arm and my leg are both coming out at the same time. I'm coming down into the push up, bringing it back in, then I'm going over to the other side. So, exercise number one, all right? You can do this on your knees as well, so just as an alternative. It is a little bit trickier, but you can still get it in there. So again, from the side. Like so. So, pretty straightforward. So, number two, we're going to move on to an isolation, isolation exercise sorry, for triceps. So, we're going to come around onto the back. We're going to lift ourselves up. We're going to keep the core, or rather the torso raised by tensing the core, all right? So there's no point in being down like this because you're not going to get an effective dip. So what we need to do is elevate our core, keep it nice and tense, so that when we go down to that tricep dip, we're getting enough distance between, obviously, our back or our bum and the floor to make it worth it. So point on those hands forward, try and keep nice and high, and we're just going to dip down. If you want to make this a bit more challenging, then what you can do is you can Raise the leg up as well, just to really activate that core a bit more, and then switch it halfway through. So that it's basically really putting both sides of the core under pressure at each time. So, exercise number two. Exercise number three, so this one's quite a new one, but it's very, very effective. So, it might look a little bit silly, but it's fantastic for the shoulders. So, obviously, the past two exercises, a lot of chest focus, for the first one, triceps, for the second. And now we're going to really get those shoulders for this one. So, you basically start in the push-up position again, but you're against the wall this time. And similar to the plank to push-up, or if you've ever done um, a, a high plank, basically moving on, on surfaces like up a step or something, it's pretty much the same principle, but you do it towards the wall. So you start in here, and you just walk the hands like this. And when you're in this high, high position here, that's when you really activate those shoulders. And there you can see we've quite easily hit every sort of um, push muscle in this session. It's quite actually hard to hit back with just body weight. There are ways of doing it, obviously, if you've got a pull-up bar, you can get some pull-ups in. Um, and there are a few other exercises like hyperextensions. Um, but just for today, keep it simple, really emphasize hitting those pushing muscles. So it's great for me because I'm going to go and do a big pull session next. So this is ideal. Um, but yeah, main principle, again, hitting that compound exercise first with those big, those big push-ups and switching, isolating the triceps afterwards with those tricep dips, and obviously the leg raise if you want it, and then isolating those shoulders specifically for this one against the wall. So again, compound to start with, isolation, isolation. So fantastic little tricep there to do. So same principle, 30 seconds, two rounds, and there'll probably be a little bit of a, a cheeky finisher as well in there. So, firstly on those wide push-ups. So, starting together, feet together, hands together, in three, two, one, let's go.
10 more seconds. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest. So, it's a really good one this because you've got the coordination to think about as well. So, it's not just staying on the spot doing as many push ups as you can in the 30 seconds. You're really thinking about moving in sync. That's probably one of the harder bits, keeping the leg and the arm moving together. You've also got to think about keeping yourself stable, so you don't want to be dipping as you reach out, so you've got to think that core. And it's just a different way, a bit more of an exciting way of doing the push-up as well, so um, rather than just staying static on the spot. So we'll get those tricep dips in now, so nice and high. In three, two, one, let's go. Obviously I'm going to raise the leg, be cheeky with that.
I've got some lunges before, you know, you get bored and you want to try something new. So, I just get creative, really. This, this one, I just made up one day when I was thinking, how can I make push up more moving? And uh, that's pretty much it. So, anyway, into those triceps. I'll show you from the side this time, so it looks a bit better. So, three, two, one, and go.
my mailbox so that Monday, um, waiting to, towards the weekend and get, get it uploaded that week. Anyway guys, have um, a fantastic week and I'll see you next time.